What's going on guys? Today we're doing a quick update on the OBD Link MX Plus and getting the firmware updated. Alright guys, so we're going to get the firmware updated on here. This is a quick follow up. This is going to be a short video just to kind of make sure that I'm continuing on with the promises that I said of getting this thing going. But what I need to do is that I need to get this set up uh, in the car with my camera. So I'm going to do that real quick and I might cut right here. All right, guys, I think I got the camera set up so you guys can see the OBD Link MX Plus there. The Bluetooth light is on and the power light is on, even though I don't have the car on. But the first thing we want to do is that we want to make sure that the car is on. Because the last thing you want to do is have the power go out while you're trying to run the firmware on this. So with any kind of electronics, if you guys aren't familiar, firmware, if you lose power during it, you could basically brick the, the device. Uh, it's not going to work, so what we want to do is make sure that we always have power going to this when we do the, oh, I got music blasting, hold on. We want to make sure we always have power going to it so that we don't brick it. So I'm going to get my software, my app loaded on my phone. All right, guys, so hopefully you can see my phone on the right side of the screen here while I'm recording this. I'm going to click on the, actually, you want to know what? I'm going to move this camera to make sure that it's on the left side. So we can see that and see the OBD link software. So I'm gonna load that up. If you guys need to know how to connect this, I'm gonna link my other video. The other video goes through the initial unboxing and setup of this. We're not looking to do that right now. What we're looking to do now is just get the firmware updated. So I'm gonna click on settings here. And then from there, I'm gonna go to firmware updates, which is right in the middle of the screen. I'm kind of moving it around so you can see firmware updates. So here we can see that the firmware version that's currently on there is 5.4 and there's a new version 5.6.15. The reason why we want to update firmware is to make sure any bugs that have been found are now worked out. They update the code um, along with any kind of additional features maybe within the software to be able to do that. So I'm going to click check updates just to check one more time. Make sure that we have the latest version. Yep, 5.6.15 is the newest, so I'm going to click on that, and then I'm going to click Update Firmware. And you can see at the bottom it says Summary Bluetooth Improvements and Fixed Connectivity Issues. If I click on New Version, it shows you all the different ones, so we're going to the latest. I'm going to click Update Firmware. This utility will update the firmware. It gives you a uh, quick disclaimer. And it says, do not disconnect the device or turn off the vehicle ignition. Like I said, we do not want to lose power during this. So I'm going to click the update firmware now. I have no idea how long this takes. So it says it's loading the firmware. So while this goes, I'm going to be doing more videos on my OBD Link MX Plus. I know that I've promised that and I haven't done it in a while. I've been doing a lot with mountain biking, which I'm going to continue doing. However, I wanted to get this one done just to get you a quick video uploaded to let you know I'm still playing with this. I'm still using the Force Game with my car so we can uh, play around with that in the future. So OBD Link Firmware Loader. Firmware loading completed successfully. Click OK. So if we go back now and it verifies the firmware version on here is 5.6.15. We're going to click check for updates just to make sure that there's nothing else. There's not. And basically that's it. That's pretty simple. We're all updated. This is a very quick video. I appreciate you guys watching and look for more videos in the future. Thank you.